Hi, now I'm going to show you a way of dealing with missing data that's a little bit more sophisticated than just dropping cases from the analysis. And so you see here I have a data set with um, children's ages and months and then uh, gender, etc. But I've got some missing height and weight measures. Now again, what I could do is just drop these cases from the analysis, but actually simulation studies show that that's a really bad way to go because that'll give you more in inaccurate results or worse results than if you actually come up with reasonable uh, basically best guesses for what the child's height and weight measurements would be. And I'm going to show you a, mod a, a way to do that that's kind of called a modified hot deck. And essentially what I'm going to do is think of like hot deck like a deck of cards. I'm going to create a or identify a set of child values that are or identify a set of children that are similar to my child here who is missing their data. And then what I'm going to do is create, uh, basically make a best guess for the, this child's height and this child's weight based on those similar children. How do I do that? Well, we know that height and weight are closely related to a child's age. So what I can do is I can identify children who are similar age to my child here who's 48 months and who's missing some values and I can create um, um, a set of kids or identify a set of kids that are similar in age to this kid and then take a mean of their height and basically use that as the value and actually like I said simulation sh studies show that the my result is going to give me um, is going to be more accurate than if I just drop this case well how do I do that in SPSS so let me show you the first thing I want to do is I want to sort my children by age. So I'm just going to sort that ascending. And so here we have case 55. It's a 39-month-old uh, child, missing some values. And I want to take values um, essentially on either side of the 39-year-old. So I want all the children who are 39 months old, but I also want children, say, that are one month on either side. Okay, So that's going to mean all of these children here from 38 months down to 48 months, or 40 months, I'm sorry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture their height values. So I just basically copy and down to here. And now what you could do is you could go into SPSS, use the transform compute, calculate the mean, etc. But I'll show you a shortcut. I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to jump over to Excel. Okay, I'm going to paste these values here. And now what I'm going to do is basically just calculate an average. Okay, so uh, let me do that real quick. I'm going to put an average here. I'm going to select all of these children. Hit return, 40.2. So that's the average of the children who are right around uh, the missing uh, child's age. So 40.2. Bingo. Now I've got an imputed value. And I would do this um, for each one of the, the missing values for these different children. Now this one obviously I would drop from the analysis because this child had no uh, data. But you see I could do this on each one of these. No, nope, not that one. But uh, and come up with reasonable estimates of what that child's values would probably be. So that's a quick way of doing uh, a modified hot deck procedure to impute values.